everyone. I have been getting a lot of questions lately about how to get a very basic Google Cardboard project set up in Unity. With Google Cardboard um, and the Unity Editor both getting updates very regularly, it gets very difficult to keep up with what things have changed and what things are still the same. So I thought I'd do a very quick demo to show you just how easy it is to get a Google Cardboard project up and running. So I've got my Unity open here and I'm just going to create a brand new project. All I did was rename it and hit enter. So Unity is going to take a second to open everything up and we now have a completely fresh project. So we're going to need to import the Google VR SDK. So we're going to go to Assets, and then Import Package, and then Custom Package. So we're going to navigate to wherever we have saved the download of the Google VR SDK. So in this case, I'm using um, version 1.120. So I'm going to import that. Usually takes a couple seconds. If you see the, the import here, just, Im, just click import and have everything imported. It's much easier than trying to go through and kind of picking and choosing what you want. Um, this way you have everything that you could possibly need and then some. All right, so we've got our Google VR imported. So we've got a folder with everything in it. So now we need to get our project set up to actually build for Android. So we're going to go to File and then Build Settings. And if it's not already, we're going to switch to the target platform of Android. So we're going to just click on Android here and then switch platform right down here. And it'll take a minute. Once that's done, now we have to edit some of our player settings. So we're going to click on player settings down here in our build settings. And then our inspector has changed with a bunch of options. So in our other settings, we're going to have to change our package name. And we also have to change our minimum API level so that it meets Google Cardboard requirements. So it has to be level 19. So that's Android 4.4. So once we've changed our other settings, now we have to enable the virtual reality settings. So we have to scroll all the way down to the bottom and it's under XR settings now. So we're gonna check virtual reality supported and then we have to add Cardboard as one of our virtual reality SDKs. So we're gonna click the little plus and select Cardboard to add it right there. Now we can actually get started building a very basic scene. So I'm going to just create a plane by right clicking and then creating a 3D object in plane. And then I'm going to create a material for my plane, so that way it's not just boring white. Uh, there's create. Um, and then we're going to go down to material. And I'm going to pretend like my plane is grass. Um, so I'm going to just name this grass mat. Um, and then I'm going to change the color to be something more fitting of grass. And to get the little color picker, just click on this white area right here, this little white box, and then find a color that will work. And then to assign it, we can actually do this a couple of different ways. We can drag this material um, just directly onto the plane in the scene view, or 
with plane selected in our hierarchy, we can drag it and drop it kind of on the object in the inspector. So now that we've got that, um, I'm also going to add a 3D cube to the scene. That way we kind of have a frame of reference when we're moving our heads um, as to where we are. And with our little transform tool, I'm just gonna move this a little bit, maybe to a corner and bring it up out of the floor. So we've got a basic scene set up. So now we have to set up our VR player. Uh, to do this, um, I always create an empty game object and rename it as player. And then everything that goes along with the player just gets attached to this player object. So if you've got like a heads up display or something, that would just be attached to the player object. And whenever the player moves, so does that. So I just renamed it to player. I'm also going to change the height of this object to a Y of 1.6, uh, just because that seems like a very good height for most people. So I'm going to keep that. And then I'm going to drag my main camera that came in my blank scene right on top of player. So now the main character is a child of player. And then I'm going to reset our transform on the main camera. So that way, wherever my player object moves, my camera also moves with it. So now that we have our player object set up, we can start adding the Google Cardboard functionality. Uh, so the first thing we're going to add is, um, let's see, a GVR reticle pointer. So we're just going to search in our project folder. So GVR reticle pointer. Here it is. And I'm going to drag this right on top of main camera. And that's our little dot so that we can actually like select things. And then on our main camera, we need to add a GVR pointer physics raycaster. That's what enables the camera raycast to actually detect things in the environment. So if, the, if your reticle doesn't appear to be working, it's probably because you forgot your raycaster. Um, and now we need a couple of other things in our scene. So we're going to need to search for GBR Editor Emulator. So we'll bring that into our scene. And this one is not um, a child of anything. It's just in our scene as another object. Um, and that will let us kind of simulate head rotation uh, when we're playing it in the inspector. Then we need to add our event system. So our GVR event system. So we've got our player set up, we've got our basic scene, we've got our editor emulator, and we've got our event system all set up. So now, if we try to play it, we should be able to simulate head rotation with, by holding the Alt key down. So I can see that I'm kind of looking around here. I've got my reticle, that little white dot right here in the center. If I hold Control, I can kind of simulate, you know, moving my head a little bit uh, back and forth. But my reticle doesn't actually interact with anything yet, so let's get that set up. So if I want my cube to be interactable, what I need to do is add an event trigger to my cube. So I'm going to add an event trigger, and then I'm going to add a new event type. Um, if I wanted it to maybe do something when um, I hover over it with my reticle, I would have a pointer enter, or a pointer exit would be I'm no longer hovering on it. Uh, but right now I'm just going to do a pointer click and keep it simple. I'm going to click the little plus sign over here so that way um, I can add a new pointer click event. And I'm just going to add a, a, a new script to, um, to our cube so that way we actually have some code that does something in our scene. Um, so 
I'm going to just name this reticle test because uh, really we're just testing the functionality and it's going to be a new script um, and it's going to be a new C-sharp script. So I'm going to click create and add. And then to open it up, I can click the, the name right here or I can just click it from the project window. Make sure that it's on the screen that you can actually see. And when it opens up, you'll notice that there's these two start and update methods. Since I'm not going to use those, I'm just going to delete them. And I've already written a little bit of code to kind of get us going. Um, so essentially, what I'm doing here is whenever um, I want to click on a cube, or I click on the cube in our VR, with our VR headset, and I click on it, it's going to teleport to a random location. Um, somewhere close by. So I'm going to save my script. And I no longer really need that. So now I have to actually do some hooking up in the inspector. So I'm just going to drag my queue from my hierarchy over here to this none object in the event trigger. And then I'm going to look for that method that I had created previously. So I want randomly teleport to show up. Um, one thing that I forgot to mention earlier, any method that you want to call from an event trigger, it needs to be public. Otherwise, the event trigger is not going to be able to find it. So I've got randomly teleport here. And I've got my pointer click event set up, so now let's test it in our scene. So now if I hover over, my reticle opens up, and if I click on it, it disappears, goes somewhere else. So just like that, we've got a Google Cardboard project set up, and that was a grand total of like 13 minutes. So very simple to do. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or let me know. Bye.